Hey game fans, it's Roberto doing another unboxing, and this time it is of Crooked Dice uh, Game Design Studio 7TV, and this is the 80s genre guide. Um, I got the core book for, well, the uh, the expansion book for the 80s genre guide, and I also got the 80s accessory pack, so yeah. The 7 TV 80s accessory pack, which comes in this uh, cool throwback, just VHS tape cassette um, container. So that's pretty neat. Um, but this is a expansion to the 7 TV um, war game, the skirmish game. Um, basically, you need a core set, either one of the, um, the core rule boxes or the... Um, the core rule book uh, to run it so you have all the rules but this just gives you more options this lets you play in an 80s setting which um, I'm all about could not uh, buy this fast enough when I discovered it was a thing so just looks uh, very fun so I've um, the handful of games I've played of 7 TV have been the pulp version and I've really enjoyed them so uh, let's see what this what this has to offer. It says it's cinematic skirmishing in the worlds of 80s cult TV and film. Um, on the back, we got not Gremlins, Robocop, or just, <laughs> I don't know, some some dude smoking a big cigar. Um, got new release seven day rental. So they're really leaning into this being like a video store collection of movies play and record fire up the top loader and embrace the 80s with 7 tv the cinematic narrative miniatures game and action play tabletop skirmishes inspired by action and sci-fi films and television shows of the 80s recreate your favorite scenes for the small and silver screens on the tabletop enjoy hours of nail biting action high speed chases outrageous product placement and as you play legendary movies and tv heroes and villains you will require the 7 TV core rulebook to use this guide. And it is, it's got all kinds of flair going on there, making you feel like you're looking at a video store and a post. Even the, even the kids on the front, they've just got stacks of movies sitting by them as, as they're sitting in front of tube TVs. Um, looks like they even got some Dungeons and Dragons on the ground there. Um, they got a Rubik's cube, some toys, just just a good uh, a good Friday night. So, let's see what's inside of the book. Take a quick look. Pop that open. Seven TV eighties, and opening credits says it's the uh, was designed by Helena Nash, and it's got the rest of the design and test team. Um, <coughs> We got some, <laughs> got a picture of a couple of miniatures from the, uh, from the studio. And right off the bat, we got what looks like a TV guide to say seven TV times video violence feature and full color fright mare. Oh boy. Lots of stuff here. Welcome. Tune into the new 80s theme genre guide. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Uh, right off the bat, you can see they got miniatures set up like they are a director, like it's uh, and a cameraman. So it's like you're playing in the movie or directing one. Behind the scenes, the rise and fall of eight TV, the studio that turned everything up to eleven, excerpted from Screen and Screen Again magazine, April 2012. So this introduces us to a new studio um, called 8TV, which is in there, one of the, in another in-world production company, which, um, which is pretty awesome because they will give you the whole backstory um, of this in, in this game world uh, of, of film or whatever. And the, and the fake movies and television shows that, that they made that are pretty much heavily inspired by things in the real world. So it's a bit, it's very meta. Um, what do we got? Cold War, Greed and Glamour, 
Scream House 3. Um, so these are new episodes that are in the box. Uh, it shows us if you don't have the cards, you can use a standard deck of dice. I mean, deck of cards and go off the charts um, as to what the cards do. <laughs> you got, you got uh, what are these script cards like, ain't gonna be no rematch <laughs> from Rocky. Instantly place a single extra ally in base contact with the front zone of a single ally star or co-star, okay? It's on an ace. What else we got? Hit the turbo boost. In this turn, all models and vehicles can move over obstacles in rough ground without penalty. Okay, so there's new new effects for the script deck, which is um, the 80s version of basically um, some of the decks that were in the other box sets. They just seem to rename them and give them new abilities. So that's cool. Um, cast building. So then this is just like you're creating your warband, basically. Miniatures first. When Crooked Dice has a huge, very uh, varied range of miniatures, 7TV is miniatures agnostic. You can use any miniature you have in your collection. Yeah, so basically, you're just going to put to, grab whatever miniatures you want, form a crew, and then find the cards and abilities that like match up what you, what you imagine your characters to do. Narrative is king. Uh... So the genres in this one, here we go, take a quick look at what they said the new genres are in this, um, in this uh, book. Cold War, Frightmare, Greeting Glamour, Hired Help, Rebel State, and Silicon Dream, which sounds awesome. Androids, computers, hackers, and video games. What's Rebel State? Freedom Fighters versus Tyrants of, ter of Terrorism and Law and Order. All right. Oh man, we got not the predator. They they just don't even care, man. <laughs> this this game is awesome. Um, okay, cast members, 127 new profiles. So we got units. Uh, all right, I got a little sampling of what is on the pages to come. There, let's go ahead and give it a turn. Here you can see some of the miniatures at the bottom from popular things you may recognize from the 80s. Um, cybernetic organism. Wow. Stars, stars. So um, I believe this one really leans into the anti hero. So neutral uh, affiliation, not just uh, heroes or villains. It's got uh, neutral stars, which is cool. I don't have any of those from the um, from the core book or the pulp uh, box that I have. It were either uh, hero or, or villainous, and then the neutrals were like your your co stars and extras. But um, yeah, so we got stern, authoritarian, superhuman, unlikely interloper, wonder warrior. What's uh what's the superhuman have? Animal men, people from Atlantis, webheads, steely time elementals, moon based aliens, invisible operatives, irrepressible simians, and solar powered astronauts. Wow. The genres are greed and glamour, hired help, and silicone dreams. So then what else do we got in here? Take a uh look at a couple others. We got a rogue trader. Um Peck and Borrow Boys, Used Car Salesmen, Construction Contractors, uh, what do we got here? Corrupt Business Women, Ghost Breakers, Ghost Breakers, so cool. So looks like there's pages and pages of, the, of, of characters, so got extras and vehicles, um, some more not grillings at the bottom of these pages, and... So those are the cast building. Then we got the episodes. Classic episodes. Okay, so looks like we got different different things here. Eight eight battalion. War weary soldiers are uploaded into video game version of the Vietnam War. <laughs> that sounds rough. Uh 
Outlaws of the Black Stump, an oddball team of do-gooders defend the citizens of a small town against greedy mining corporations. Wow. Star Killers, a distant war-torn galaxy, a star-spanning empire, seeks to eradicate the last hope for freedom. Cool. So these are some of the popular shows that uh, 8TV created. Um, and from screen to tabletop... Shows you an example of what the cast may be for running this show. So, 8 Battalion, Alien Dead 2, <laughs> Industrial Horror Meets Squad on a Mission, and the sequel to successful sci fi film Alien Dead. Soul Survivor Williams is compelled by the Upton Satami Consortium to, to accompany a squad of Marines back to the planet Abaddon where a colony has unearthed the Astronomicon and unleashed the alien dead. So we've got heavy not aliens or alien. Um, wow. So what is the uh, a the alien dead frightmare? Dr. Seth, Rufus, extras are the bike club vamps, Abaddon Priest. Wow. Okay. So anyways... Hired Help versus Hired Help, Outlaws of the Black Stump. We got Knot, Rambo down here. Okay. And this is all different types of example um, scenarios. Or, yeah, pretty much, right? The pitch, production notes. So it's just giving you um, outlines of. How to run these shows, USA Aliens. I love the fake posters. It's awesome. You can see like a spaceship up top, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and what do we got here? The tropes. Uh, be careful out there. Set up. Follow step four on page 67 of the 7TV core book. Place, uh, but place six objective tokens to represent... A busy police station. Okay, so different ways to set up your game. It's got a it's got a table to roll on. Cold War trope, greed and glamour trope. I believe these are the new uh, the new shows. Frightmare trope, research research station zero. Okay, and then after all of these different scenarios. Then in the back of the book, it actually has the newer profile cards. Um, it's interesting. It looks like some of them have art. Some of them have miniatures. Oh, man. We got uh, Peter Cushing. I am, I am all about that. That's awesome. So that looks like Star Wars Peter Cushing. I was hoping for Hammer Hammer film films up. Uh, Peter Cushing is stern, authorita authoritarian. Uh, and then, what else we got? Oh man, Lost Boys. <laughs> they they just don't care, man. It's it's hilarious. Um, in the back, it looks like we got just more standard, uh, showing you some of the miniatures of the cards. So, very cool. Um, but yeah, so new cards, new scenarios, covers a lot. Then we got this guy, and it says on the back you can see samples of some of the cards. It says 7 TV the 80s, cinematic miniature skirmish game inspired by action and sci fi films and television shows of the 80s. Build a cast of stars, co stars, and extras. Uh, prepare your special effects and direct your own classic TV moments. Recreate your favorite scenes from small and silver screens on a tabletop. Uh, we got cards, 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 and cards in here. And let's take a look. Okay. Oh, boy. They weren't kidding. Got a, a brick of uh, two decks of cards right there. Got some mini cards with new scripts. Got a prop deck. And then we have the... Um, these are the genre cards. Yeah. So we got Cold War. Uh, what is it? Frightmare. 
They, I like that they look like posters and or VHSs. And on the back tells you the abilities, uh, the effects you get if you run this. Well, basically, when you set up, um, when you build your your team, you pick a genre, and you get can get special effects and abilities from the script cards or prop. Yeah, I think it's the script cards activate these if that's uh what i remember greed and glamour great poster and then the abilities on the back hired help <laughs> seven day rental new release boy looks awesome What's that rebel state You may recognize that from a very popular movie. Here's another one. We got Silicone Dreams. That looks cool. What do we got? Self-aware. Plot point cost. None. Restrictions. None. Effect. All extras with the Silicone Dream genre may activate for free this turn. Wow. So, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> you get extra abilities from that. Let's pop open... Uh, one of the mini decks first. See what's in here. Okay. And these uh, this is scripts. So basically, when you set up your game, it's got Act 1, Act 2, and then a finale. So Act 2 and a finale. Depending on the length of the game, you'll take... Between like five and seven cards, I want to say, if not more. For I was, I've been playing short games, so like, build a deck of five of each of the different of each of the acts: acts one, act two, and finale. And then, basically, um, these add in-game effects every turn. Uh, when it's your turn, you basically flip over a card or two, and to speed the game up, you can flip over two. And this one says, another glorious day in the cores. Discipline and training count for a lot. Hoorah! hoo All the unit leaders' special effects this turn increase their range to 12 inches. If you have no unit leaders, gain a plot point. Cool. Let's look at one of the Act 2. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Enjoy the comedic value of a deadly weapon. No ally or enemy enemy may make shoot attacks this turn. However, zero health weapon effects count as negative one health uh, in this turn. Oh wow! So um, you're doing real damage even with uh, stuff that does no damage. You, those usually give you like status effects. So that's really cool. I spit my last breath at thee. This is the finale card, and it says the vengeful swan song. Calls for an over-the-top performance. You can use the star qualities this turn without paying the plot point cost. Wow. Your star, your star qualities are free for the turn that's, that comes up in. That'll be, that's pretty cool. Um, we got props. Let's see what kind of props we have in this one. So in the 80s, uh, not the 80s, in the 7 TV core set, you got stuff like Xenomorph Egg and uh, the the Grail from Indiana Jones. So what do we got here? We got a BMX bike. Oh man, <laughs> that's funny. So is that from Rad? Uh, we got leg warmers. Just because it's the eighties, got to have leg warmers. What else we got? Shoulder pads. Okay, I got to read shoulder pads. Shoulder pads look great. Model activation costs one plot point. Place the barrier template in base contact with this model's front zone. All models touched by the template are pushed two inches. <laughs> okay, just pushing people when you got your shoulder pads on. That's funny. Um, got a trash can. Model activation F. I think that's free. Cost two. Uh, plot points. Place the beam template in base contact with this model's front zone. All models touched by the template are knocked down unless they pass the uh, statistic test, a body test. We got MacGuffins. 
Oh man, a grizzly trophy. Uh, looks like a wordy one. We got a hall pass. Look at that. And the hall pass. Model activation. Uh, cost one. Skip to skip class to explore the perfectly polished corridors and access all areas. Choose an ally. This turn, the chosen model cannot be targeted and cannot make personal strikes. Roll one d six at the end phase. On a one, discard this card. Okay, cool. There's that. Then, um, what? What I think is the coolest bit of these um, genre packs is comes with new character cards so giving you more options for for um, cast building so let's take a look at what's in here and I did pick up a couple of minis when I picked this up so I'll show those to you too but first things first let's see if I can get in here what do we got pulled planner oh man some, some diehard villain. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see if I can get these cards out or not. You may recognize this bold planner from Die Hard. <laughs> what do we got? It's a neutral star? Alright, so he's worth 10 points. Um. Looks like he's got some pretty solid stats. Not too bad. Brawl. Does no da no damage for his brawl. He does weekend, weakened um, status. Handgun for two shots for one health. And he's got a snappy quip and he distracts you with it. And he's got a couple of star qualities. Uh, on the Jazz, the model can increase their leader by one special effect to leader four and extend their range to 12. Whoa. Um, cool. Cybernetic organism. Oh man. Got some Blade Runner action. So I'm super pleased. Blade Runner is one of my all time favorites. Uh, fight four. Shoot five. Defense 10. Mind four. Body five. Spirit three. Reinforce headbutts, negative one damage, and stunned uh, on a nine. That's pretty good. Auto pistol, a ten, negative one. Inhuman manner, uh, zero health and distracted. Then pass as a human, motionless, follow up, terminate, and tough. Cool. Uh, a digital avatar. <laughs> the dream stalker wow i mean wow horrific thing <laughs> that true wow man that hunter alien uh pick up this game while you still can because the the likenesses are out of control here like they there is no way they <laughs> they paid for these likenesses Legendary Paragon. Millionaire Meddler. Let's see. And these are all stars. Nam vet. <laughs> it sure is. Alright, let's take a look at uh, a couple of the co-stars. Uh, we got Relentless Pursuer. Oh boy, white collar. <laughs> the whiz kid. This is great. Um, cowboy builder. This is an extra. And what else we got in here? Executives. So neat. See what's on the other side. <laughs> Firkin does not look like a. <laughs> it does not look like it's a bear from uh, Star Wars. Not at all. What else do we got here? Uh, Gribbly. Not a gremlin. 
<laughs> Mountain Fighter. That's cool. Just some new generic uh, neutrals. Pilot from the A team. Uh, service droid. Let's see what else we got. It's the vamp. And a wide boy. What's a wide boy get you? Duck and dive. Scatter merchandise. Dealership. Knockoff gear. Slippery customer. Man, he really is just a douche. It's a car salesman of some sort. Um, I, along with this set, I picked up uh, some Monster Hunters, which are <laughs> not Stranger Things miniatures. <laughs> so, these look pretty good. So, four boys and then I got the the rivals pack which I can get it open we'll show you and the rivals pack has not 11 and Vecna from stranger things but <laughs> you can use your imagination and maybe it is though. who knows but anyways um these these miniatures are pretty cool i was uh very excited to to get um the the kids from stranger things and i can not only run through scenarios uh versus vecna i can looks like i got some nightmare on elm street uh that they can they can battle as well so that will be fun but um yeah, so I have enjoyed the games I've played of 7TV, um, so I, I do recommend it if if you like uh, kind of a quirky skirmish that is more narrative and fun than I think really competitive. It's more of what you make of it. Um, you're working together to create a fun story, so more so than anything, and I'm really into it, so... Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you played 7TV or if you're interested. Um, if you've got questions or um, what? let me know what your favorite things are about it or what type of scenarios do you play or what's your favorite genre. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.